everyone, this is Quietie, and I am back with five more retro games. <sighs> if you actually know what this is, well, you're probably as old as I am. This is a game called Bucky O'Hare. It's about this rabbit space pirate that I believe the enemies are frogs that take over the planet. And he has a team of people with him, and they all go and they fight frog aliens. I want to say her name is Jenny or Jenna. The rabbit is Bucky. That one is a cat, maybe? There's a duck. And I think there's a fourth one. I just can't think of what it is. Oh, the robot! Okay, but I used to love this game growing up. It used to be one of my favorite games. Bucky O'Hare and his crew, Blinky, Deadeye, Jenny, Willy. Blinky's the robot, Deadeye is the duck, Jenny. There you go, my wife's name is Jenny. What is Willy? Being a bunny, I have a power hop. Oh my god. Uh, this brings me back. Everyone fights different, so this was just a really just... It's a very niche game for me, but I, I used to love this thing. You ever, like, play a game and you're really worried because it's an old game? You're worried that it didn't, like, last the test of time and stuff? I, I feel like this one's okay. This one made it, you know? Yeah, I'm not playing it perfectly, and I don't remember 100% of everything, because last time I played this was when I played a regular Nintendo. When Super Nintendo was brand new, I played this. So that, that's a little mark of my age, but... I want to say some of them fall. Stupid games I used to love so much. This might have something to do with my level bunnies, too. Do I keep it? Please tell me I keep it. Oh, 
was so afraid. Is there a way to tell the, the falling ones? Because <laughs> weird enough that, like, I love bunnies, as you can probably tell from my avatar. They're probably my favorite animal. I also have a bunny deck in Magic. Just my bunny deck is meant to, it's group hug, so it makes everyone happy more. It does have a couple, like, instant win conditions, but I usually don't use them unless I have to. I do love Bunny. I'm actually have never been a big fan of like Bugs Bunny and those goofy looking after like I want cute, I don't want goofy. Goofing, not goofing on it because I know I'm not gonna get that far in this run, but damn, you know? But this was Bucky O'Hare, which has always been one of my favorite uh, memories, you know? Oh my god. Okay, well that's enough for this one. I'll move on to the next one, guys. Okay, everybody, here's the next game. Uh, this was actually a really popular game for my household growing up. And when I was a really, really young kid in daycare, our daycare had a... I don't remember what kind of a system, but it was one of those old systems, like in television, Atari and such. I guess old is relative. You guys probably think all the shit I'm playing is old, so whatever. But this one's called Burger Time, which is a game about you make burgers. And as the game shows or whatever, you run over the ingredients to make them drop a layer. And then when you win the level, when you drop all the ingredients all the way to the bottom. Okay, okay, there's salt and pepper, but I don't believe there's a jump button. Ingredients, I believe you kill him. Yep. Sorry. 
You've been assaulted. Okay. Yay! <sighs> no, 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 no! Okay, try this one more time, okay? The trick is you go to the top and you drop them all when you can. Missing the ladder. <sighs> oh my god, I got stuck real quick. Okay. Well, that was burger time. That was a neat little burger game I also kind of grew up with, so... This was made around the same era, I believe. I mean, it was, it was after Donkey Kong, but it was made around that same time frame. So that's why it probably looks a lot like Donkey Kong. But yeah, let me switch to the next one. Okay. Um, any long-term gamer should recognize what this is before they even see the title screen. Just from the song. Is that it? Give up? Fighter is named Bob. Oh, God. Visible. No, 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 no. We'll go a black belt. This was one of the very first RPGs that well, ever existed, honestly, like full-blown RPGs. like a revised version of this game, all the spells have changed a lot. If you ever played, like, god, which is the game that did it? Was it 7 or 8? Maybe it was 10. God, I don't remember. It used to be like if you had a fire spell, it was, you know, fire 1, fire 2, fire 3. And then after a while, it turned to fire, fira, furaga. But it used to just number the spells. Actually, uh, in the process of there we go. I'm actually in the process of playing through this game right now on my Xbox. the revised games, and I decided to go ahead and... I don't remember what everyone uses. It's been so long. Okay, so Monk 
it doesn't use it. Oh, I need to get a weapon for you. Um, actually, Monk does need it. And then I will buy a rapier. Nowadays, you can just play through and they play themselves. These old ones, you had to level up on things. And I know they're probably just trying to streamline things because leveling up is kind of boring, but I don't know. Grinding for levels never really bothered me. It really didn't. first RPGs of games that ever came out, you can tell that when certain things when they made this, since they were never thought, it was called Final Fantasy for people that don't know, because they thought it would be the only one like it. Because it was not action-packed, it didn't have reflexes, it didn't have, you know, so they thought it was not going to do well. And then, apparently they were wrong a little bit. And it's now one of the biggest series to ever be made. That imp. It's amazing just throughout the whole series how many different songs they kept from the original. That's always kind of amazing. because we're not playing for a long, long time. We're just going to run up to the boss. Yay, more imps. And this was also like, besides being the first one, it was kind of very... I guess Dragon Warrior came out before this, but Dragon Warrior was a very one-sided. You only had one person in your party. And it was very, like, you know, you're one person facing everything in the world. And this was the first one that had, like, a party system. And... There's so many games like this I just loved. And as a kid, like, you know, this is also one of the first games that had, like, naming your character so you could personalize them and stuff. But, I don't know, I felt like every character looked like a guy, so I didn't, you know, I just, I couldn't have my name attached to things. And I don't know if any other, like, trans person has done this. But I'm kind of, uh... Oh, wow, okay. Take that, zombie. But anyways, like, I don't know if any other trans person has did this. My ADHD just went over time, just went poof, you know? I was gonna say. But I'm not sure if anyone else, since you couldn't put yourself in the game because you weren't the right gender, you created an alter ego, and not only did I create that alter ego, but I created, like, their whole family. It's just so weird, like, it's hard to describe. Stop hitting Bob. Because me and my brother, uh, Damon, actually used to play a game called... God, which one was it? Uh, 
was it? It was Mech Warrior. Was it three mercenaries? And that was our first online game we really got into, because you were in mechs facing each other. And two things always stuck out to me is one, we had dial-up internet, so the first time we would like play Mech Warrior and we played Capture the Flag, if we tried to use our jump jets, lag would put us sky high so people couldn't see us. And then the way they built that game is, if you jumped over a flag, you'd take it. So they'd have guards just staring at a flag, waiting for people to take it. And then in their sight, it would just, poof, vanish. And we'd be like a mile up in the air because of lag, and just fly all the way to the base. But um, something else that used to happen is, we had a guild. And have you ever remembered something and not known why you remember it? Well, me and my brother had a guild, and it was me and my brother each had a character on it. And then, for some reason, while talking to people, I wanted to... I first made a guy character, you know, because I was a guy, in quotes. But, um... I wanted to be girls, so I would make girl characters. So, this first guy was Fushi Chow, because I always had a thing for phoenixes, and that's phoenix in Japanese, just so you know. And then I made all these other characters. I made a whole family, and I made Riku, and then I made Kisa, and Shinobu, and Chisa. I made a whole family. And each one had their own mech they would use. They were all me. And I guess it's probably like the first instance of role-playing, because, you know, I just... It was the only time I could be a girl. So we had one person named Grey Hippo join us. And it was just the weirdest thing. It's weird that I still remember that name, but... Fire. But it's weird that I not only remember that name, but... Like, it was Grey Hippo, my brother I remember, and I had six people in the clan, each with their own email address for login, controlling, each had their own mech that I used, I mean... It was weird, because I, I basically played six people and acted like they were completely different people all the time. And I did that so I could always have a girl character, and each would have its own dis different personality for me to try, but... Oh no, I just thought it was weird. It was like probably the first instance of role-playing I've ever had in my life. Dang it, Tim! Get your stuff together. Three damage isn't much better, but... Stop hitting me! We'll fight you, we got an item. Oh, there's drink. Can, can I make someone else drink a potion? Oh, you don't have a potion. Okay, we'll just continue fighting, guys. You're good. You're doing good. I believe in you. Beep. Oh, I actually have to finish putting on my makeup and getting ready for work. Oh my god, let me tell you, when you gain levels in this game, it takes forever to gain levels. Because you just had to wait for all these stats to go. Fatality, and they go so slow. Yay, now you level up! Oh my god, it takes forever. But this is really just... I don't know. My brother started off into RPGs a lot more. Well, I mean, he probably still is in RPGs a lot more than I am. I do play, like, Baldur's Gate 3. Just any character with a creative character. Or if I can put myself in the game, dress up, things like that. Oh my god, that's the best game in the world to me. If you have an RPG and you have it all guys and testosterone filled, I do not want to play that. Fantasy was always just one of those games that's... I don't remember how to kick in the... No, talk to 
the guard or something? Stop there with this one. So this is Final Fantasy, the very first one. It is a very... You can tell it's dated. It has a lot of really neat things for being one of the first RPGs, but it is very, very dated. But yeah, this is Final Fantasy, and we'll move on to the next game. Okay, I'm back with another game. This is Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Uh, they actually came out about three or four years ago, or whatever, with a remake of this. And it's a very neat game. It is two players. One player today. Uh, what a chip. Okay, forgot what I was doing for a minute. There we go. Eh, 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 can't get that. Fine. such a long time since I played some of these games, I kind of forgot most of it. Whoop. Oh, I just got a message, what is it? Okay. Actually, it's been a very, very busy day for me. Um, oh, dang it. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. There we go. Ooh, I noticed my mouse cursor. Hopefully that didn't pick up on the screen. But it's been a busy day because I actually had a, uh, throw through things. But yeah, it's been a busy day because I actually had a job interview today. Dang it. But yeah, I had a job interview and I was hoping it was going to be something really good, but there's a lot of problems with it. For starters, um, it just doesn't, it seems like too big of a job for me, especially for my first job. Sounds weird, but like as a girl, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm out at Costco, but it's not the same thing. And I have a whole bunch of things like my surgery set up, so I'm currently using the insurance and I'm scared to get a new job and then reset all that progress I'm making with the insurance. It's just been, it's, it's a big mess. And I was so, there we go. So that's a problem I'm having right now. <laughs> I did have to do the same thing! <sighs> okay. But anyways, so... Whenever I got ready to go have my interview, I went in the store to have the interview. And it's just... They don't do one-on-one -on -one interviews, they do group interviews, and that was very intimidating for me. Not because I don't think I can do the job. Purely because of the fact that, uh, standing next to a whole bunch of people, and I still have this problem with my confidence where my wife says I pass and I look good as a girl and all that kind of stuff, but I've never interviewed as a girl, so I always worry people are, like, staring at me and, you know, thinking I'm not one, and it's probably all self problems just you know it's just 
you know, it's a personal problem I had, and after the interview thing, I went to tell my wife how it went, and I told her it went good. And the only problem was it was a lie. Because, and I'm curious if my wife's ever going to know about the... I'm curious if my wife's ever going to know about this because of the fact that I don't think she watches my videos really. I tried to jump. I tried to jump. No, no, no. Okay, I was a little worried about that. But the thing is that I told her it went well and it didn't, and you're probably like, well, it's okay if it doesn't go well. It's your first interview. I went inside, saw that a whole bunch of people were lined up against the wall. And then I just kind of walked around the store for a while and left. I didn't actually do the interview. But I told my wife I did just because... I don't know. I worried she'd be disappointed in me. That sounds stupid, but, you know. And the only way she'll know, really, about that is, I mean, A, if I just tell her about it. Or if, uh, you know... She watches a video and she hears this, but I don't think she watches any of the videos. Uh, my son does, so I guess he could tell him. So, Oliver, if you're watching this, shut up. Don't tell your mom. But yeah, I was supposed to have an interview today, but it didn't happen. I want to say it was just because I have my insurance stuff going through for surgery, but in reality, I was scared. I get so worried about people's appearance of me. Oh, you jumped pretty high. I didn't know that. Oh, that was close. Yeah, that's the that's the problem I'm having right now. And I had my first surgery consultation, which is good. I just remembered I can hide. Um I can't jump that high. Oh, stupid me. Okay. There we go. Okay. I was being stupid. But yeah, that, that was my problem. And like I said, I had my first surgery consultation and stuff. But I already got to work on the letters I need. It's just the other two things. One, I'm in Oklahoma. So one is I have to lose a little bit of weight for my body mass in decks or whatever. Is that like supposed to be washing me? Yay, beat the first level. So we'll just go ahead and call it quits after the first level. But, um... Yeah, so basically I have to either get my body mass index down. It's just a little bit, just like 10 pounds, so it's really stupid. Oh, okay. I don't know who you are, fat cat. But the other problem I have here... Let me load the next thing and I'll continue talking. So, on to the next game. Okay, this is one of, another one of my favorite NES games, if you know what it is. Um, it's called Blaster Master. 
It involves a boy whose toad got like fell into the underground and stuff. So he shrunk himself and you get this tank. You can hover with it, you can go outside of it in these little mini levels. It's it was actually a really ow neat thing when it first came out. I want to say they did a few remakes of this, I just don't remember what they all are. I can't remember what the P is, is that my health? Yes it is. But um, what I was saying though, was one of my problems I was having, is I also need electrolysis down below of where I'm getting the surgery done. Ah! Thank you! actually hop out and do some firing and stuff, but you're, you're a lot weaker than when you're in your tank. Okay, so you have to get out of your tank and go to the ladder. But I have to get electrolysis under the surgery down with you. Here's your private area, you know. And you do have fall damage as a human, that I remember. Get this little top down. But in Oklahoma, you can't really. None of the electrolysis people will do the private section. Yeah, that's the problem I'm having, is I'm having trouble getting electrolysis. Because everything else I th think I can get to, I can lose a little bit more weight, I can go... I'm going to start going to the gym again, again, starting today, I've been slacking off on that. I already have a therapist working on the letters, it's just that electrolysis one... What a jerk. So yeah, that's been my current problems. Hopefully I will get a job I can actually enjoy someday. I'm just waiting on it. And it doesn't seem to be a quick process. Like I said, I would love for it to be a, uh, you know, one of my things I enjoy doing. So I would love for it to be, get, you know, making games and stuff, my actual passion, but... ADHD and all the other stuff in my life going on makes that so hard to do. It's been so long since I played this, I don't remember what exactly is all these power-ups do. I think that's hover energy for when I get hover later on. I'm not sure if it actually helps me at all, but... Right this second, I mean. Okay, this is a neat one. I believe all the, all the, at least all the bosses I remember are fought in this little top-down mode. Ooh, I'm 
zero power. Okay, this is not gonna be good. Well, that just blew me up. I believe I can go underwater. Yeah, I can. Okay. I thought I could. Okay. Um, hmm. But yeah, that's that's all the stuff going on in my life right now. Um, I recorded the last two games in the series of five, actually after the uh, like a day or two after the first three. So that's why I kind of sprung this on four games into it because you know. Dang it! I died so I lost my firepower. Is that just health? I think that's health. I'll go kill those things. That might be the boss room. Ah, oh, I hate being right here. Come on, just, just use your left. Let me know in the comments while I'm taking this time to not really do anything but blast blocks away. Just let me know if you guys enjoy me playing these retro games. Um, I do want to kind of go back to Lollipop Chainsaw or something at some point. Just I've realized after a while, buying a low-end graphics card makes running a lot of certain games really kind of complicated. you don't get any upgrades for your tank until you actually start, uh, whatever you call it, um, actually beating the bosses to get the upgrades. And I had a gun earlier, so I think every time you get hit, it gets rid of a, an, uh, one of your firepower upgrades. I really would like to get more upgrades before I face the boss. But yeah, so I'm always... If anyone's watching this and you actually, you know, want to leave comments, I do still respond to every comment I will ever get. I would like to go back to playing, like, trans games, but people don't make trans games that much. There's very few. Some kind of... I think I've played every trans game I can think of. By all means, if I miss one, please tell me down below. I'm going to take a shot in the dark and assume at least 99% of my, you know, viewer base is trans, so... So if you're you're part of that one percent, I'm curious why. Unless you're just a really good ally. I know I had a Brad the Dad person that used to come to my streams and talk with us and stuff. And yeah, if you're watching this too, Brad, yeah, we remember you.
channel actually started with just a whole bunch of people. Like just a small group of people that used to watch me and... Most of those people have either stopped watching me or just stopped talking in the comments or I don't know what. I used to have a Discord server going that was pretty good. I don't know. Um, I haven't been... I can't blame the people for leaving just because... It's been a lot of just me kind of abandoning my channel for the most part. And I don't do it on purpose, it's just, you know, stress in life. Okay, well, I did all that. I'm never going back in here before again, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... Ah, oh, my dog's laying below me. He's really gassy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. In the tank, thank you. Oh, I do have missiles. Oh. My bad, I didn't realize I had missiles. I think I can blow open that door. I'm gonna go this way though. More missiles. Okay, 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 okay. Oh yeah, I do. Like a weird lightning. Okay. And that's homing missiles. Okay, my bad. Eh. Eh. And I'm and I said I was gonna play games for about 15 minutes. I don't have a timer going, so. So by all means I don't like, you know. Don't hold me to that time. That thing almost touched my cockpit. Whoever named that cockpit has a dirty mind. There, I said it. Why can't I? I thought I could go in there. Maybe I just don't remember how. Dang it. But this little fun game was Blaster Master. Um, I was hoping to get to the first boss. I just can't remember where he is. Shut up, motorcycle. <sighs> and now my mom just texted me how my interview went. means I'm probably gonna lie and say it went good and I'm just waiting to hear back from them. We all know that's not true. I believe that's a boss, so I'll, I'll, I'll try to face the boss first to show everyone what a boss is on this game. There we go, 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 go. It's 
weird because it looks like my computer's not running the game great, but A, you know, um, this is a low game, so it's not hard for any computer really to run. Um, and B, it's just, the game itself ran like this. Why is there a ladder? Is that just to show where to go? Because I can't climb it, I'm in water. There we go. I believe the frog you're missing is actually, spoiler alert, the final boss, but I just don't remember like the actual story behind this. But it has a few remakes. It had Blaster Master, it had Blaster Master 2, it had Super Blaster Master. a lot easier if I would have still had my gun upgrades. Hey jerk. What do you do? That's what you do. Okay. Disappear. I didn't know that health thing was gonna disappear. I swear I should be able to fit there. I've let myself go. lose the health out of it. Why did I... Have I had this little grenade thingy this whole time? Well, oh well. Boss time. I got a hyper cannon, that was it. Oh yeah, my bullet's different, okay. And basically, oh, that's the upgrade that lets me blow through the door. Okay. Well, that'll do it for Blaster Master in the last part of this episode. So, thank you all for watching, and leave any comments down below. I will post a new link to the Discord if you want to join that. Check out any links down below. I have a GoFundMe for my trans stuff. I have a Patreon to help me support my game I'm going to try to get come out. When I can get at least 90% of the art done, I'm going to start the kick or, yeah, Kickstarter for it, and then hopefully that can lead to money and a job, which would be so wonderful. But thank you all for watching, and I will see everyone in the next video. So until then, have a quiet day. Bye, everyone.